Now, recently, U.S. government warned her nationals through the American embassy in Uganda to reconsider travel to Uganda, reasoning that there is insecurity and the gays risk being arrested after President Museveni assented to the Anti-Homosexuality Act. However, according to Honorable Okelo Riem, the Minister of Foreign Affairs said, the government of Uganda will not be intimidated by USA. The government of Uganda uh, will not be intimidated or blackmailed uh, into submission uh, by this kind of uh, uh, trouble guides by the United States of America. No, no, no. We will not be intimidated. Okello said Uganda has capacity to protect her nationals and all the visitors, so America must stop this kind of blackmail. We have the capacity to protect and save the security of Ugandans and foreigners who are here. We have the capacity. So uh, that's why I said that uh, this goes beyond the normal uh, travel guide and is tainted with, uh, with uh, unfortunately, uh, bad faith. He said if Americans don't want to come to Uganda, it's very okay because people from other continents will still come. And if the guide Americans go to come, there's no problems. Americans can stay. But I am sure there are many, many other Europeans, many, many from Europe, from other parts of South America, from China, from Asia who come to Uganda. Now, the situation in Kasese district is slowly getting back to normal after the ADF rebels killed over 40 people. In a general security meeting held yesterday, the LOC three chairpersons requested government to put curfew during night to enable security officers do their work. To see that we regulate movements at night, uh, as we call it curfew, maybe at around 10, we, are, we let people go back home so that security man the areas. They also requested government to bring back the LODUs. Request the government to see that the system of the LODUs is restated because these people some time back during the ADF attack in 1996 they helped us very much however this was rejected by the RDC Joe Walusimbi and the Minister of State for ICT Horrible Godfrey Kabianga <laughs> Sunday, Saturday, the situation is a little senior. I don't have a TTZ, I don't have a TD, Naye Mandi, what and the Kuku at least could die you a war with. If you have a father, the Jiro was a course, money names, the Siro was anti, Tetujeta, and a Pujeta, the Tiru, and this is the Tibet Jetero, one of the Sina Jitako, the National Council, the Security Council, the Temple of the Winds Now, this week, uh, the spokesperson of a UPDF Brigadier General Felix Kulaiju said three abducted students managed to escape from the ADF rebels and uh, returned home. You know, once because of the pressure mm. of the terrorists, mm. they, they can never be students to escape. Yes, um, zero of them. Yeah. So where are they now? They are back in the, in the homes in Nikasesi. In Nikasesi. So this was done to, today, last night? It happened yesterday. Yes. However, Minister Kabianga said he hasn't confirmed this information. Sinafuna uh, report ya security, uh, uh, authoritative, na ye nange na ulide, ndi wali wo ababa rescue inze. Yes, so that is uh, the latest update right here on uh, the Buzz UG. Don't forget to subscribe in case you haven't and also tap on the bell for all the notifications. My name is uh, Melad Milo, a.k.a. Fula. It is a bye for now. Thank you.